hello guys uh, welcome to the next video today uh, i will show you how to install mac os on vmware so whether you are using intel or amd processor uh, this tutorial uh, will help you if you have any troubles uh, uh, with the amd processor i will show you tricks to resolve that so let's get started so uh, i got my uh, vmware workstation 17 player open which is actually free for non-commercial use so i will provide you this uh, the list okay so uh, what you have to actually download and what to do so this will be the first link okay so uh, i will provide all these links in the description so so this is basically a free vmware player okay for personal use and this is the first thing you need to download and then we have um download is the unlocker okay so what it does actually so when you try to install uh, mac on vmware it will unlock it okay to make it basically work for the mac uh, os operating system so you have to download the uh, release python embedded seb okay so i will provide this link as well now we the third thing we have is the ito unlocker okay so we have to install that too so you have to go down here and download the zip file unlocker 2.0.1 okay and the fourth thing is the big one which is the iso file okay uh, mac os iso file so this will be the biggest file you have to download uh is 16 gig so you have to download this okay so once you download all of them then you need to go ahead with the next step so until then just pause the video download everything and then come back so in my case i already have downloaded everything so i i will go to my download folder and i have installed all of them okay all of them so this one here is the unlocker i will extract okay and i will also extract the the python embedded okay so the first thing we have to do is to go to unlocker run as administrator and make sure you actually have the correct path which is uh, c program files vmware vmware player on both the folders it will come automatically okay click on download tools and click patch okay i already have done that okay so make sure you do this okay and the next step we have is the the python embedded okay so what you have to do you have to click right click and run as administrator i won't do it because i already have done that okay so once you do it it will download number of files using the, the command prompt okay the command line so make sure you do this one as well okay and then you have to uh, go to your uh, you have to open your vm vmware player okay so you have to open that you have to click on create new machine and choose that um, iso file okay so which is here click next now you, you will see you have this option apple mac os x so if you don't see this one make sure make sure you actually do the both ones yeah the python and unlocker so make sure you do that you do both of them and then now you have mac os you choose mac os 11 click next choose the path so i will leave as it is i will choose minimum 80 gb I will customize the hardware and then I will choose 8 GB RAM the processors I will use about 4 and I will enable virtualize Intel okay close that click finish 
so now what you can do before you click i mean if, if you run it now you will you will be you will come across an error okay you will see an error you see the cpu has been disabled by the guest operating system so what you can do to fix that error just shut it down shut it down first and make sure you copy this code i will provide this code in the description okay so just copy that right click copy and you have to go to your uh, documents folder go to virtual machines and then you have to look for mac os 11 vmx file okay so our right click you will see this it called v dot vmx so you have to right click on it go to open with the notepad go all the way down make another line and then paste paste this code and save that okay you save it and now what you can do just run the uh, vmware player workstation okay and now you run the file i mean uh, run the operating system and it will work fine as you can see it works fine and there are there are no issues so to install this i will show you um the initial steps how to configure the hard drive okay so i won't be going with the full video because i mean this is just uh, self-explanatory to be honest it's very easy to follow it's just like uh, installing a software normal software is very easy so just uh, i will fast forward from here and i will show you actually how to set up the hard drive so from there on you can just so now you can see this is the initial screen so click next so it will try to find your operating system so we need to go ahead and click on disk utility because we need to specify the hard drive okay so click next and now check the, this one here on the top one and then you have to click on airways give a name i will say mac os yeah make sure you choose a pfs and uh, quid partition map click arrays just wait for a while and click done now you have to close this one and now you have to choose install mac os okay so just click on that and continue click continue agree agree and choose the hard drive click continue and that's it so now basically you have to wait until it uh, finished the installation and your mac os will be ready okay so uh, yes um i think that's pretty much it uh, the one more step you have to do is uh, once your operating system is ready um, you have to shut it down and then you have to install the uh, vmware tools okay so for example if i if i go here so you need to go to settings so as you can see at the moment i mean don't do it while it, while it is installing okay i'm just showing you once everything is finished you have to shut down your machine you have to go to settings and instead of using mac os uh, iso file i mean after the installation okay once when the installation is finished okay then you have to click browse and you have to go to python embedded yes so yeah once you extract everything from the embedded so you will see tools in the embedded folder tools and then you have to click on this darwin okay you select that darwin okay and click on open okay and then you run the machine and you will see an icon 
uh, once your Mac OS is loaded you will see a, you will see a tools VMware tools icon here you have to double click that and, and install that because what it will do actually it will make your uh, desktop screen uh, as full screen okay so so I think you should do that you should do that but anyways because I don't want to make this video too long I will make another video and I will show you how to do it so yeah I will put that video also in the description okay has a link so you can go there and check because I want to make this video short and sweet so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one until then take care bye bye